experts are calling Georgia a purple state in this year's historic election. Joe Biden with a slight lead there on track to become the first Democrat to win a presidential election in the state in nearly 30 years. In a year with record turnout, experts say both parties will work hard to get voters involved in the runoffs for two Senate seats, which could make an enormous difference for the president-elect's agenda. All your size, Troy Glez has the story. Control of the United States Senate largely could come down to these two runoffs. Mandy Bailey at Valdosta State calling this a fascinating fallout. Bailey says historically Republicans have won every race for Senate since Bill Clinton won the state of Georgia in 1992. What we're likely to see this time around is um, if Biden's successful, um, it's entirely possible that you could come up with two Democratic senators from Georgia. She estimates the four candidates for Georgia's two Senate seats will pour many resources into a January runoff. Jim Wiley, assistant political science professor, says usually incumbents have the advantage. The dynamics will probably be a lot different. Based on past experience, um, I expect the Republicans to win. Um, and that's partly because I think um, their voters are more used to coming out for um, extra elections than Democratic voters. Wiley surprised by the record turnout for this election, which he says was due to work done by Democrats to increase voter registration. He says both parties will rely on getting people back to the polls in two months. Bailey thinks with so much at stake, the state could continue to see record turnout. Typically, we would look at um, at runoff elections, at um, off-year elections as sort of low stimulus elections, right? This is certainly not the case. In case you didn't get a chance to vote, Georgia voters can still register for the runoffs by December. We have more information on how you can do that in this story on FirstCoastNews.com. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.